Roger, Friendship 7. Friendship 7 is lost. like heat of re-entry has created a barrier of ionization around Friendship 7, holding all voice communication. Alone, he plunges back toward Earth, a fiery meteorite. The thickening atmosphere breaks his descent, slowing Friendship 7 from 17,500 miles an hour to 1,300 miles an hour in slightly over three minutes. And the forces of gravity slam against John Glenn until he weighs eight times his normal weight. Destroyer Noah, waiting to recover Friendship 7. But John Glenn cannot hear the message. Right around 443, flight. I was about on time. Keep talking, Al. Uh, Friendship 7, this is Cape, over. Uh, Friendship 7, this is Cape. How do you read, over? All right, you're reading loud and clear. How you doing? My condition is good, but that was a real fireball, boy. I had great chunks of that retro pack breaking off all the way through. Looks good. 
good. On O2, emergency, and the chute looks very good. Rate of descent has gone to about 42 feet per second. The chute looks very good. Hello, Mercury Recovery. This is Friendship 7. Do you receive? of 81,000 miles through three days and three nights in just four hours and 56 minutes. At 3.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friendship 7 comes to rest aboard the United States destroyer, Noah, and John Glenn returns to the people of Earth. A change of clothes, a breath of cool air, a short debriefing. Then, Glenn leaves the NOAA, heading for the aircraft carrier Randolph, under the golden splendor of his fourth sunset of the day. Herschel Glenn, Jr., Lieutenant Colonel, United States Marine Corps. Married, father of two teenage children. Today, John Glenn and the Mercury team challenge space, and they won. follow tomorrow, and in the tomorrows after that, each step more bold as we reach out to explore the universe around us.